What's up fish catchers Jacoby viewers? So for today's video it's going to be kind of a compilation of fishing for over a week. I've been kind of missing an action. I've had some problems going on. Nothing serious at all. Just kept me from going fishing for a couple of months. So we uh I have been trying to figure out the bite and everything. Going from fall to spring to you know summer is a kind of a big jump and you know and a lot of the fish move out to the islands off of the inshore stuff and they still stay in shore around the bays and stuff so right now that's what i'm kind of trying to figure out because all i have is a kayak i'm not really going to go you know out to the islands obviously but uh so i mean i'm trying to figure out the flats and stuff right now and i've been getting kind of minimum success on the specs not enough to make a video with with specs but uh a couple of stuff that i've caught and uh it's not gonna be too bad of action and i and i pulled my back out this week so there this uh this week will uh hopefully i'll be able to get back on it and get, be able to get another video out for next week but i threw out my back loading my kayak and in the truck and it's been pretty bad over the weekend so we're gonna see if I can get out this week because I really want to get out on the grass flats and find some clear water I was able to do that last week and uh last Friday and and uh I haven't been able to go back since but either way guys uh stay tuned there's gonna be some good action trust me and it's your boy fish catcher Jacoby oh something dude oh Wow. Jeez, whatever that was, that was a big fish. It was either a red or a big speck. It looked like a red fish because it looked like a red because it whole body came out of the water. Specks usually come up underneath them and grab them from the bottom. Man. Thought I saw something chasing it. There he is. Nah, he, this one ain't big. Oh, he came off, didn't he? Yep, no, he's on there. I don't know what this is. I think it's a little speck. Man, <laughs> that's okay, though. Uh, <laughs> look at that, guys. Go for missing either a big speck or a, or a big red. Oh, it's catching this little bitty fellow on this big old top water. Look at that compared to him. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Oh man, I love that top water bite though. He hit it multiple times before he caught a hook too. Starting to think that might've been a big speck, but see how that speck, how you probably can't tell from the video, he come from up underneath and got a hook. Reds, like I said before, they like to come up and their whole bodies come out of the water because of the way their mounts are pointed down, they have to, which makes it makes you think that they wouldn't be a top water hitting fish but they do got him got him finally I don't know what we got here folks I think it's a big flounder Oh, no, don't go into that. I think we got a big flounder. Or a big... Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, man. All day I've been fishing and I catch a hardhead catfish. That's a big hardhead. Catch a dang hardhead catfish on the Z-Man. Oh. It's not to say I wasn't really fighting like a dang... He wasn't really fighting like a dang flounder. My broke pliers here. Good God, he's fat. I can't believe he just hit this. I think I just side hooked him accidentally. Oops, no, I, I don't know. Oh man, I'm dropping my pole in the, oh God, about stuck myself. Let's see if we can get this bad dude off of here. Right in the eyeball, huh? Let's drag out. <laughs> That comet. Thought I finally, thought I finally got something good. It's just a big old hardhead. Look at that. He's missing an eyeball, and I just got him in his other eyeball, but it looks okay. He's probably been hooked before or something. Let's let him go. Good gosh. Ugh. 
Man, the bite's been hard. Ooh, big flounder. Big flounder. Got him. Got him, he's not that big. Wow, that was awesome bite. I literally saw this guy come up and chase it and then take it. That was pretty cool. Look at that, he's not that big. He's a lot smaller than I thought he was. Let's just get a good flip on him. Nice, woo! Guys, you don't know how satisfying that is right there. I have fished and I have fished and I have fished today. I, I don't know, I guess the fish are just not in this area that I went to today. And we're back in, uh, back towards Bayou Heron now, Mississippi, back towards Grand Bay. And we started out fishing towards Bayou Cumbus. And that's a keeper for sure. Yeah, he's probably about 13 and a half. I seen that he was about 13. Uh oh, looks like he's, see this one's been hooked before. Ain't no way I did that damage to him right there. But uh, either way, man, I have been fishing hard. That would make a nice slab, but I'm not keeping fish today. So we'll get a quick release. Go. That was pretty cool, guys. He actually came up and he, um, I seen him chasing it and I stopped it. And when I stopped it, he took it and ate it in his mouth and I gave him a second. But yeah, man, it has been a hard day, guys. It has been super hard. I just came up into a different area. I can't understand why I couldn't catch any flounder in the areas that I was in. And it could have just been they weren't biting in. And it, I, so I switched it up to some back creeks that I know have held them before and that are deep and that have good drop offs and uh, flats for these flounders. So let's see if we can't get some more. There he is. There he is. Yes, sir. There he is. Oh, no, he's on there. Okay, I thought he came off. I ain't got a good hook set on him. This rear ain't worth the crap. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. This rod is just some cheap rod I have. Let's go. What is it? A nice red? That's what it feels like. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. No, not under the boat. Not under the boat. Oh, yes, sir. Popping cork for the save. Oh. Oh yeah, big boy. It's a nice red. I'll go ahead and loosen the drag a little bit. Keeps wanting to go under my motor though. All right, let's go. Nope, 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 nope. Whoo, my hands hurt. This is a crappy old rod. I had to buy a new reel, just bought some cheap stuff because, um, Look at that, that's a nice fish. Because this reel is starting to go out on me, but I was like, hey, let me try a popping cork and I'll just bring it for extra. Look at that big red. That is a nice one. I don't know how good he's hooked. Ooh, he's not hooked good. Come on. Oh no, no. There you go, into the net, baby. Let's go. All right, guys. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I've been fishing hard. I knew it was time to switch up to a popping cork. All right, let's uh, let's uh, get a picture with him. Give me one second. All right, guys, we I think we might have. I want to let's get a better look at him. Woo! It's a nice. Come on now, this might be a 30 incher right here. He'd be dang close. Oh yeah, he'll be real close. Perfect hook set in the corner of the mouth. Oh yeah, he wasn't going nowhere soon. Oh, maybe not, it wasn't really hooked that good. Let's get a quick measurement on him. Uh-oh. Yeah, I just had something big blow up next to me. Let's get a quick measurement. I'm gonna say he's probably 28. Uh, 
Nope. He's right at 25. I'm way wrong. That just goes to show you when you don't fish for a while, because I've had, you know, truck transmission went out, so I've been having problems to get out here and go fishing, that I, I lose the misjudgment on these fish. But man, what a beautiful fish. I'm not really sure if I'm getting them in the good light. Look at his tail, one big, beautiful black dot. Uh, I don't see any parasites on them, so this is a nice, healthy fish. Kind of skinny, but I mean, it's just the time of the year. Uh, let's see if we can't get a quick release on them. He should be about rare and ready to go. It's a nice, beautiful fish, yeah. I had him in the net the whole time. Woo! Let's go, guys. I've been hard, been trying different things. There he is. Something. I think it's a speck. Yeah, a speck. So it was a speck that was hitting me. Uh oh, that might be a nice speck. That's not a bad speck. Dang. There we go, folks. Fish number Uno Tuno. Not Uno. Tuo. Let go of it. Oh! Well, you got to see him at least. That was a nice little speck right there. That was probably about a 14 and a half, 15 inch fish. Probably right about a legal fish. So that was a speck hitting me. I thought it was needlefish because I did see needlefish. There he is. Oh yeah. That's a red. That's a red. Let's go. I believe that's a red right there. Oh God, oh no. Yes, sir, that's a red. <sighs> Whew, he don't feel as big as the last one, but he ain't bad feeling. Watch it be a big old speck. I know it ain't, but. <laughs> oh my God, it's a giant gaff top. <laughs> Holy crap. Well. Look at this. I haven't caught a big gaff top in a long time. That's not what I was expecting. Oh, come on. Oh, well, that's still a fun fight. Dang. Look at that big old gaff top. At least he did not swallow it, but he is getting his slime all over it. God. Oh, you little son of a gun. They're actually really good eating. I just don't like to fool with them. Oh, let's see if we can get them off. Look at all that slime. Look at the crushers in the back of his throat where he eats little crabs and stuff. Shrimp. How am I going to get you off without getting absolutely stuck here? You got that hook all sorts of messed up inside of you. Making it worse. I just can't get... Oh, there we go. Whew. Look at that big nasty right there, man. Like I said, they're actually good to eat. The bad thing about them, a lot of people like to uh, kill them. I don't do that if I ain't gonna eat it. Just cause I, you know, oh, it's a catfish. Man, don't just kill them. I mean, everything I feel like has a meaning in this world. And if you're just out to kill it, what does that make you, you know what I'm saying? But, did he get his nasty slime all over my crap? Oh, he wanted that shrimp. Dang, he tore it up too, didn't he? All right, guys, that was officially the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a new uh, viewer, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. Uh, uh, like I said, we uh, in the beginning, I threw out my back, so... Uh, I haven't been able to get around much this weekend, but hopefully about during the middle of this week that I'll be able to uh, get some fishing done because I'm really going to go try out some grass flats uh, with the wind that we have this week. It should be some pretty clear water. I seen a couple uh, redfish on it actually Friday. It wasn't able to get none to hit, but it was also in the middle of the day, so it might have been too hot. I don't know, but we're going to go try to figure them out and try to find more flounder. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and it's your boy, Fish Catcher Jacoby.